Hello everybody, welcome back, C Ray Tech here. So, um, if you guys have been following some of my videos, you've seen I've been running these E011s pretty heavy. Um, this frame is just finely toast and there's no point in playing with it anymore. So uh, I decided to bust out the original Frankenmuth X-Wing, or X-Frame I should say, and I did a couple little, little bit of modifications to it to try to beef it up a little bit. I have these um, cross members that I've hot glued in. This provided stability of both these points. Um, this also allowed me to be able to fit the E011 board in there pretty much perfectly. Um, it's really light, uh, it's really quiet. Um, for the motors, what I did, <clears throat> so I used these skinny sticks. I got these, or I think my wife picked them up at Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics or something along those lines. So, um, I cut these just a little bit longer than the motors, and then I heat shrinked the motor to this piece of wood. From there I hot glued the heat shrinked motor to the wooden frame, and then I wrapped it with some, uh, I don't think it really matters, the pound test, but this is uh, just fishing line. Um, then I hot glued the camera to the top. I have a Velcro strap to hold the battery in. I'm utilizing my male to female JST PH 2.0 uh, battery lead so that, that way I can still access the port. Um, I could plug this directly in but this makes it a lot easier if I decide to use any of these style batteries. So. Um, this thing flies pretty good. Uh, I flew it in both acro and um, auto level mode thanks to Silver X um, and or, I'm sorry, Silver XXX and all the guys at RC groups and everybody who's been able to help in getting um, that firmware released, especially for all the models that they have. I, you know, I never really realized that. I found it a while back for the uh, H8 Mini Whoop that I've been working on. Well, I don't really do much with it anymore. I just fly it. It's pretty much about as good as it's going to get. But I flashed this. This was my real, um, or my first experience with Acro, was being able to fly this. So um, I don't think there's much more to say. I mean, if you guys want plans or if you'd like to know how to build one of these yourself, let me know. I can put something up. I can do a build video for this. Uh, most of this was already done, so if you have some questions, you can check out the original X-Frame video, because like I said, really all I did was I glued into these braces here, um, switch out the flight controller. Oh, one thing to note is, outside of the flight controller, all of this came from the DM002. Props, motors, um, camera, um, the lead for the camera, everything I got from that. So the only thing I really did was I just put the flight controller um, to this one. One thing to note, I'm um, glad I almost didn't forget that, is <clears throat> the polarity is reversed on the motors for the DM002. So what you'll need to do is, um, yeah, I'm plug one of the motors so I can show you. So what you'll need to do is, there's these little, let's see if I can get to focus. Alright, so there's these there we go. There's these little tabs you gotta pull back. When you pull those back, you can pull your wires out and then just flip them around. Just make sure not to pull them back too far, because if you do, they won't clip back in, and you may have uh, these fall out, which you don't want. I mean, if they touch the board or touch each other, um, you can fry the motor, you can fry the flight controller, you can do a lot of bad things. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions about flashing the firmware, um, feel free to throw in the comments. If you have any questions about the frame, same. Um, if you're curious where you can pick up this stuff, uh, let me know. I'll have links in the description, but if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. Um, and remember to like and subscribe and share, because that would be great. I'm hoping to be able to hit uh, somewhere around 200 subscribers within the next month or so. I'm getting pretty close. I think I'm around 140 now. So, um, yeah, thank you everybody. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to comment. And um, if you have any ideas for some DIY frames, 
uh, definitely let me know. Also, if you have any suggestions for any frames that house 8520 motors, um, I'm really interested in that right now. Uh, I plan on maybe picking up a King Kong, um, QX90 frame. There's so many different variants. Uh, I was looking at Picnic Quads website the other day and they have <laughs> a treasure trove of amazing looking frames. So um, you might be able to see some of those in the future. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for some flight footage and um, have a good one. Thank you.